Hi everyone, my name is Lottie and welcome to my channel. We are back again today with a portrait setup. So today we're gonna to be trying a three light setup. This will be good for regular portraits. It'll also be good for headshots. So the goal for today is try to get like a little rim or like edge light on the side of the body on both sides. So let's go ahead and get into it. Before we actually get into it, if you wanna know about the lights I'm using, I'm using two 80 um, Godox lights and also one 80 Pro, I think it's a 400 Godox. So since we are doing some studio lighting, we want to make sure that we are killing all the ambient light. So let's go ahead and make sure that once we take a photo right now, with our current settings, that our background will be black. Um, right now, my current settings is my shutter speed is 1 over 200. My aperture is 7.1 and my ISO is 125. Okay, so I did move my um, aperture up to nine. So that was killing all the ambient light for me because right now I have one light on, just trying to illuminate myself, which I typically don't have. So the settings could be lower. So now we're gonna start working on our edge lights or our rim lights. So since I have two of the 8200s on there on the side, um, right now I'm gonna put my A and B light on one over 16. So let's just see what that looks like. All right, I think that's actually pretty good. No light is touching the background. Um, it is edging on the shoulders and also side of the head so I do like that take one more a little bit closer all right I think that is pretty good so next what we're going to do is we're actually going to introduce our key light so let me go ahead and pull this over that again is the AD 400 so this will be our main light source. I may have to move my camera too because it might, it might be in the way, but let's see. Right now, I'm reconnecting my tether. It keep on going out. Oh my God. Let's see. One second. Then we have added our key light in here. And with the key light, I'm still gonna have it at one over 16th power. Um, so let's see what that looks like. I will note that um, you'll be able to like to see the hair lights better if my mannequin actually had on here. But since she does not today, um, We'll kind of like watch for like the neck to see like, you know, if the light is still kind of casting on it. So let's see. Oh, wait, the tether is messing up again. The freaking tether is killing me. Let's see. Okay, so since our model doesn't have any hair, uh, we're going to look at the light that's like casted on the shoulders and the neck. So I'm gonna show you guys something. If I was to turn off, um, let's turn off one of these lights. So I'm gonna turn off my B light, which is the light over here. Okay, so the light should not be hitting on 
this side right now. I had to kill the tether for today. Um, hopefully my camera is not messing up because it just keep disconnecting and I'm kind of over it. So um, instead of tethering, we will just be looking at the photos on the camera screen. Now we're gonna go ahead and kill the C light as well. So you guys can see that there will be no backlights. 